Good morning. Here we are. Having porridge. Doing maths and English. And over here, we have, where is it? Where's the other calendar, Bubu? Over there. Good morning. We have day uh, six of the oven calendar. What have we got there, Bubu? You have to read the thing, the blurb. What does it say? Look up with vitamin Ooh. E, black currant, seed oil, and SPF 30. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You can say hello later. Okay, so you're going to open it up. Oh, <laughs> it's a lip balm. That, this box is very big for a lip balm. Okay, so this is uh, lip protection and care. Ultra Sun <coughs> lip protection and care with SPF 40. Ingredients, Sarah Alba, ricinus communist seed oil. It's got castor oil as well. Uh, Dibuyl adipate, diethyl ammonium hydroxybenzol, hexyl benzoate, allyl benzoyl. Then it's got shea butter, but shea butter is all the way down there, and argan oil, and vitamin E. Ah, okay, I'll. Uh, this will go into my handbag. This will be useful for my handbag. Yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to go to the gym after I drop the kids off at school. The laundry is already going. Dishwasher has been unloaded. And yeah. Ooh. I'm walking to the gym now. I've just dropped the children off at school. The nice thing about the gym days is because I walk to the gym, it counts as my daily outdoors in the element, uh, part of my uh, winter resilience, winter thriving, making best friends with winter plan. So I like that. It's kind of like killing two birds with one, with one stone. So I tend to take a bit of a meandering route to get to the gym just to increase the amount of it's gray it's raining a little bit see that uh but that's okay i'm walking i'm getting my heart rate up and i'm getting nice and warm and i have a hoodie for if it gets super super cold but uh i'll see you after after the gym basically okay i'm back from the gym, I got my heart rate really going, which was pretty awesome. And I kept on checking my heart rate because I wanted to see how high I could get my heart rate. On this particular day, I didn't go beyond 132 beats per minute, but that's not a bad thing. I came back to find that we've received our recycling over Christmas calendar. This is a very very important so i always uh, cut it out and then i'm gonna put it up on my board here which is on the family command center this is this is where hila runs the entire world <laughs> i know but i've got um one of these days i'll take you on a tour of it but the other thing that i got that i'm quite uh, excited about is i have just realized that my uh, most favorite mascara, which is this La Roche Posay Tolerane mascara that I've been using, it's is beginning to clump. So yesterday when I was putting it on, clumps of it fell off onto my skin, and then it was like, oh, one must get a new one. One must get um, a mascara, but. I wouldn't be able to get it delivered straight away because it's only sold uh, on Essential or La Roche-Posay uh, direct. And I think 
One of the things that I have become addicted to is definitely wearing mascara when I put makeup on. I don't feel like I've done makeup if I haven't got mascara on. So I quickly went onto Amazon and I found that this was very highly, highly reviewed and it's the Maybelline Sensational. Now, I have a couple of Maybelline products that I like. I really like their nail polish, their 60 second nail varnish. It's really good. And I also have a Maybelline, I think, eyeliner or lip liner. But so anyway, I thought I'd try, I, I would get this because I needed something uh, for today, but it's just arrived now. Oh, it's got an interesting. Oh, look at that. The wand has got kind of like a, like it's shaped like an eyelash. Well, that should be interesting. I'm not going to put it on now because I'm about to go have a shower uh, to get all of the sweat. I was sweating so hard at the gym like I was uh, drinking. But I like it. I really like it. Though. For me, it's not a good session unless I've got the salt of the sweat in my eyes and it's making me tear up because, you know, <laughs> then it's a good session for me. So I really, really liked that um, very much. I really pushed myself a little bit extra, especially at the beginning um, of the week, because the Monday session is my favorite one because it feels like I start my week off on a powerful note. Monday is also my cleaning day, but because it's December and there's so much going on and I'm really focused on trying to be kind of cool and calm throughout December rather than being hurried and, you know, just haranguing people and nagging people to pick up after themselves or whatever. I'm trying to focus on, you know, just creating wonderful, cozy memories, wonderful hygge, having like a hygge Christmas. Um, and so one of the things that I've done away with this year is the detailed cleaning in December now, because I follow Fly Lady and normally with Fly Lady, you're always, you're working in one zone room and you're uh, doing some detailed cleaning. But for the entire month of December, I just plan on doing the poopa. Now poopa, it's not actually poop or poopa scooper. Poopa stands for pick up and put away, which is a fly lady term where you set a timer for five minutes and you go in the room and all you're doing is you're just picking up and putting away stuff. And that's just what I've been doing since the beginning of December. And that's the main focus. And then I will hoover up twice a week. Every morning I do the swish and swipe, which is where you just um, tidy up the bathroom and then you just wipe it down very quickly. Nothing fancy, not using my little toothbrush and my little toothpick and trying to get everything perfect and shiny. It's just keeping everything on a, you know, sort of like an even uh, state. And so that's what I've been doing. And that has created time for me to be able to continue with going to the gym as well as you know, focusing on having hookah moments with the kids where we just sit and we're reading by candlelight underneath the fairy lights and uh, playing board games and all of those sorts of wonderful memories that you make with your children because they grow up so fast. They grow up so, so fast. I can't believe that my youngest are turning eight this month, you know, and even though they're only turning eight going on, 30 because there's so much you know, like telling me things off like mommy don't you be doing that mm -mm, mama you can't do that you know so yeah so I'm just trying to make as many memories and make Christmas more about the memories and less about um other things that I may have prioritized during the holidays that weren't so much about coziness right off to the shower and then I shall do my face and I will tell you how I get on with this yeah Oh, also, I've got Vaseline on my face, so I put Vaseline on because when I'm walking, uh, the wind is really uh, strong that my skin would dry out. So one of the things that I started doing is actually using Vaseline and it's just been amazing, absolutely amazing in keeping my skin nicely moisturized and hydrated. I have another delivery. Ta-da! So my makeup is nothing special today. I just put on um, powder, blush, did my eyebrows, and the, oh, I've got dark circles around my eye. <laughs> Never mind. Um, the mascara is quite nice. I feel like it definitely lengthened my lashes. Can you see that? I didn't get this with the La Roche-Posay. I think that it definitely does go 
Papow, like, <laughs> I feel like it's really making my eyes pop. Considering I didn't really, I didn't put on any eyeliner or any eyeshadow. I just did my eyebrows and I did the blusher and of course my lips. And we are ready to take on the rest of the day by cleaning up the house, getting my timer, five minutes, pick up and put away, and then I'll do a hoover through. And today I'm using a frozen meal that I meal prepped. So I've got some a sausage casserole that was frozen. So I've got that out and it's defrosting and we'll have that with some leftover mashed potato. So <laughs> it's a way of just making time for myself. <laughs> Hi, so I've got, these are blue, dark blue uh, high waist jeans, I've got thermals underneath, my red top, and that's my outfit, I've got my hair in buns today. So this is the weather right now, as you can see, it's quite dark and it's raining it's raining so i'm gonna light a candle whilst i have my lunch separately i'm super happy that i am matching with my christmas tree Red top, red poinsettia, red top, red poinsettia, red lip. All that's missing is uh, red earrings, but there we go. As you can see, the lights, the fairy lights really twinkle and shine on days like this. And it's days like this that make candles all the more lovelier. There's something so magical about candles and candlelight. And I love i love the morning ritual of lighting the candles and even of lighting the candles when i'm by myself like right now i'm by myself at home which is something that i'm getting used to over the last three years when my husband was working from home and because of you know all the lockdowns and stuff like that the house has always been constantly full but right now i am by myself in the house and it's a very strange feeling but i like the company of a flickering candle it's just something enlivening about that i'm gonna have my lunch now before i forget because i do have a tendency to forget to eat when i'm not feeding other people but in order to grow your muscle you need to be eating and i want to grow my muscle grow my muscle especially when I've been to the gym today and I've been doing some heavy lifting I need to feed protein to my muscles so that they uh, will grow so I'll see you after lunch mm, hot chocolate hot chocolate with marshmallows Hot chocolate. What are you doing to do in our cups? Oh, yes, be careful. It in our cup. You may need to use milk to cool it down. It's about half past three now. I've spent most of the day just doing the pooper the whole house picking up and putting away and then i also had to clean up my sewing room which i normally clean straight away after i've done a project but because last night we finished it on the wire just as the dinner bell was ringing i didn't get an opportunity to clean it up plus the fact that the lighting in there is so terrible anyway it's not a fun place to clean in the evening so i managed to get to it today it wasn't the top list of priorities though it's uh, it's always at the bottom i have to get the rest of the house done first laundry has been going and i have to close the curtains now because it is 
literally dark and it's about half past three and uh, we're already really really dark today but have no fear bright lipstick and bright colors they keep me on the cheerful side so i'm just gonna uh, do some more folding now and uh, just putter around i'm just gonna have fun puttering around moving little bits here and there trying to make things a little bit cozy quite enjoy doing that in winter 